Don't be a jerk. <laughs> Good morning, Nerd Flickers. So, I'm actually back in France, here at my sister's house, and I thought today that we would play a little game. So, what is this game, you may be asking? It is a little something called Best Day, Worst Day, and you may know it from Looking for Alaska. So, if you choose to partake and happen to have a bottle of Strawberry Hill on you, well, answering the questions, then kudos to you. 20 points. It's kind of like whose line. Points don't matter. So, since I've been traveling, I've been thinking a lot about spontaneity and just getting up and doing stuff. And it's so freaking easy to do that here. I mean, you can be in France one minute and then, you know, book a bus and five hours later you're in Barcelona. Back home, that's not the easiest thing to do. Um, but there was one time that I did kind of do that, uh, in a way. I, uh, I went up to Orlando for the weekend to visit my best friend Kina, and, uh... Oh, what is that? Naka's freaking out. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I went up to visit Kina, and we kind of, we just decided to have a, uh, a Paper Towns adventure. So, uh, <laughs> earlier in the day, we kind of went into the Winter Park area. Then, later that night, we were in downtown, we went to the SunTrust building. Um, though we didn't go to the top, because it was closed, and we don't have connections. Uh, we went to the Asparagus. We also did not break into SeaWorld, though we did drive by, so I still count that. Um, so towards the end of the night, we're just starving, so we headed to Denny's, and on the way there, somehow we started talking about uh, Taco Bus, which is this restaurant in Tampa that a bunch of our friends were just raving about. And it wasn't even the food that they were raving about, it was pineapple water. <laughs> I was just like, oh man, it's so good, it's so good. So we were talking about it and jokingly, I was just like, yeah, let's go right now. And Kina just kind of turned to me and was just like, why not? And we were both just kind of silent for a second, taking that in, and then it just kind of both hit us like, well, good point. Why not? So, uh, we, uh, we still went to Denny's to get food, then went to Walmart, got a bunch of supplies, aka energy drinks, and, uh, 12.30 in the morning, we drove two hours to Tampa for Taco Bus, and, uh, it was just awesome. I mean, I'm in my car with my best friend for two hours, jamming out to music, just belting it out, and the roads are basically empty, and it's just... It was, a, it was a really great freaking night, and uh, it may or may not have ended with a little Margo mission, and I will leave it at that. You know, every, everybody's had their shitty days, and I've, I've had plenty, uh, but this one just really, really took the cake, because it, it happened directly after all these great things had happened. So it's just like, yay, my life is so great. And then there's this really big shit storm that just kind of took all that down. And this happened uh, the day, the day we got back from Disney World. And I had the freaking best time that I've ever had at Disney World at Magic Kingdom. And that same day was actually the same day that uh, Leaky had released the LeakyCon programming. So... I mean, there was so much excitement, and, uh, and I got home, as soon as I got in, I, I called my mom, and I was just like, hey, I'm home, and so she tells me, I'm at the vet, um, my dog Luna, she's not doing good, you should get here, because it's, it's not looking good, um, so, I mean, I literally, I drop my bags, grab my keys, get my car, and I go, and as soon as I walk into the door, into the, uh, uh, into the room, I know immediately it's just, it's not good, because, uh, Luna just kind of didn't respond at all, like, it's, whenever I'd come home, whether it, it'd be like, I'm gone for two hours for class, or, you know, I'm gone for the weekend, whenever I would come home, she would just go nuts and, like, run around circles in the patio, and, uh, so when I got there, you know, I didn't, I didn't get much of a response, and I, I sat down on the floor with her, and I pet her, and I got a little, I got a little twitch of the ears, and a little bit of movement in the tail, but, uh, 
yeah, she wasn't doing good, so I kind of, I mean, I knew it was bad, but in the back of my mind, I was just like, no, that, like, that can't happen. Uh, ugh, yeah. And, uh, so I kind of pushed it away, and I really had all this hope, like, no, she's gonna be fine. And later that night, my mom came up to my room, crying, and, uh, um, the vet called, and Luna died that night. That was, um, yeah, it was really shitty. Like, the only way I can describe it is, like, I, I felt like somebody was, like, fucking playing bop it with my heart. Like, you know, here's a twist here, a pull here, and then here's the final punch. So yeah, that uh, was my best and worst day. Um, and I feel like I may, I mean, eh, I feel like this, I never, <laughs> I can't even fucking talk. Oh my lord. Um, I feel like this kind of uh, responds to your challenge, McKinley, of getting personal. Um, so yeah. <laughs> if you guys want to play, please join me. I have two more weeks here in France. Um, probably gonna spend it with my sister. Maybe I'll go somewhere else, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> um, but that's the beauty of it here, is that you don't even need to know. You just kind of go do. and. Uh, have a little mini adventures. So yeah. Um, I love you guys and I will see you soon.